Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with sets in Dramatify. In some screenwriting and scheduling applications, the terms set and location are used quite interchangeably. In Dramatify, however, they are two very different things. Sets are the theatrical scenery or the set construction where the action takes place. Locations, on the other hand, have GPS coordinates. You can have many sets at one location, like at a big soundstage, but you cannot have many locations for one set. If that is the case, you need to add more scenes to your script, since the general principle in screenwriting is that the scenes shouldn't require moving the camera. In a non-fiction production, say a current affairs segment or a documentary, you might not see the difference in set and location, but there is. If you interview a researcher in a university lab, the lab where the filming takes place is the set and that is tied to the location, which is the university. In the call sheet, you then have the correct address, map link and driving directions, as well as updated weather forecast for the university. And in the scene and sets, you can see where the filming is going to take place, that is in the lab. We talk in depth about locations in another Dramatified tutorial. Adding sets usually comes before adding locations. There are three ways of adding sets to a project in Dramatify. First, adding them manually on the set page. Secondly, adding them automatically when you import the screenplay. And thirdly, adding them during breakdown. Adding sets when importing a screenplay is the most common method when working with fiction productions, where you often have a screenplay before starting pre-production in Dramatify. To add a set manually, Click on Sets and then use the Edit menu to the right in the toolbar to click on Add Set. You add the name and select if it's an interior or exterior set. You can also add any information or description to the set if you like. Later, when you have proceeded longer in the pre-production, this is also where you link together the set with the location by using the drop-down menu to select the correct shooting location. In most fiction productions, you will import your sets when you import your screenplay. We recommend that you go through this list to remove any screenwriter or software errors. There might be misspellings that create two sets where there should be one, or screenwriting techniques like adding an insert or a back to in the slug that creates a set called back to. That set should be deleted, of course. To edit or delete a set, click on the set and then on the edit menu in the toolbar choose Edit Set or Delete Set. Imports from some screenwriting software also adds the entire slug as the set, so you manually need to go in and correct this. If you want correct stripboard colors, you should also go into each scene and help Dramatify know if this is an interior or exterior set. You can also add any description information you like. If you write your screenplay directly in Dramatify or do a non-fiction production using our AV script. It might be faster and more convenient to add sets during breakdown. To navigate to the breakdown, you click on Scenes and then on Breakdown in the toolbar. The breakdown is how you, amongst other things, link together scenes with sets and time of day in order to add correct stripboard colors for scheduling and call sheets. You add sets in the top left-hand part of the page. Above, you have the scene text as a reference. To add an existing set, just use the drop-down menu. Click the link to add a new set. As you see, the form is the same as on the Add Set page. When you also have added the time of day, dawn, day, dusk or night, the lightly striped background of the slug will turn into a correct stripboard color. The lightly striped background is a warning sign in the breakdown, scheduling and call sheets that the scene isn't properly broken down. If the slug doesn't turn into a correct stripboard color, but stays striped, the most common reason is that you have imported sets with your screenplay and have not set them to either interior or exterior. To fix that, go to the set list and edit the sets that do not have an int or x after the set name. In the breakdown, in the lower right hand side of the page, you can also add any scene items to sets that is mentioned in the scene text. You also link the scene item to which department that should be responsible for it. The set page shows what information exists about the set. 
The upper part holds information whether the set is an interior or exterior set. The location, if you have added that, in which episode and scenes the set are used, and any information and description added. You can at any time add information to and edit existing sets, just like we showed you when adding a new set. In the lower part of the page, you find scene items for the set. Since many people only add what the script explicitly states in the scene text during breakdown, admins and any team members belonging to the set construction and props teams can add new scene items to sets. We can also add options, both to new and existing scene items. Chromatify works great on mobile, so the set construction and prop teams can add scene items and option selections on the go in stores and rental facilities. On the set page, you can filter on departments to see exactly what your department is responsible for in the current set. When you successfully have added sets and linked them to scenes and locations, you get an informative dynamic scene list for the entire team. Admins get a complete breakdown report with sets and scene items for sets. The report can be viewed and printed for the entire series, screenplay, episode or scene. When you do the scheduling, you can filter on sets and therefore schedule scenes with specific sets and locations together. In the call sheet, sets are automatically added as scenes are added. If you have the correct admin permissions, a click gets you to the entire scene description, including all scene items for the set. That's all for now. But be sure to also watch our tutorial on locations, since that is tightly tied to sets. Thank you for dramatifying your production.